Hey ladies. Okay. I may have this thing figured out y'all. Let's make sure I did have to hook my um, AirPods or earpods. I had my AirPods in and y'all I could hear myself talking and I could not deal with that. So let's make sure we're good to go. Let me go to the comments. I can see your comments. Yay. <laughs> yes, y'all can hear me. Yay. Awesome. Fantastic, ladies. Um, the last time I've used StreamYard, I did not have to use my AirPods or EarPods. I'm so used to saying AirPods. My EarPods. Hey, ladies. Hey, hello. Yes, working, working, working. Okay. So. And there's no echo. All right. So we got this, ladies. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting this cute little whimsy birdhouse. Um, Christine, while you're on here, um, I know you're supposed to be taking the day off, but can you see if I'm live on YouTube because I'm streaming this on my YouTube channel as well? Um, so I just want to make sure that it's going the way it's supposed to be going. So let's hope and pray that my phone doesn't go dead because I didn't have a whole lot of battery life left on that. So let me move all this junk out of the way. Y'all see all of my mess like this. Um, your check. All right. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Miss Amanda. Hey, ladies. How are y'all ladies doing today? All right. So we're going to get started just in case my battery does go dead. If it goes dead, then I guess we'll just use the computer to finish this birdhouse off. But we're going to try our best not to have to do that. So as you come on, how about sprinkle the love for me? and um share with your friends oops i wasn't supposed to say that word but i said it um this is the picture that we're going to be painting here this was actually one of my designs in my template club um and i think it was like really really cute and i really wanted to paint it y'all so that's what i'm going to be doing and i'm going to get my three quarter inch nope this is a one inch flat tip brush thank you miss joanne yay i'm on youtube too that is amazing that is so cool y'all so stinking cool all right so let's see we're gonna start with i'm gonna start with probably the green because all of my flowers and stuff is sitting on top of this green color so we're gonna start with this green and I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to use Sour Apple to start with our green here. All right. I'm just going to get me a piece of cardboard here. That's what I'm using as a paint palette today. You could use anything you have, y'all, for a paint palette. You don't have to get all fancy and get all, you know, Bob Ross on yourself and go buy you the, the actual paint palettes. Use a cardboard box. Use paper plates. Um, anything like that will work, y'all. So this is Sour Apple. And Lord knows this is a really light color. I may need to put some white in with it, but I'm not. We're just going to go with it. And right now I have a flat tip brush. And I'm just going around my designs here. I'm going to go right over where that hole is going to be. Not going to stress over that too much. And we're going to smooth that paint out. How's the view, y'all? Can y'all see clear? I put the my phone, and I am using my old phone, y'all. I put my new, my regular phone, um, the one that won't actually let me log into Facebook. Um, but I turn off my Wi-Fi because guess what? StreamYard, I don't have to go to the Facebook app to get on Facebook, what I have to do is just go to Google and pull StreamYard up from Google. So I'm able to use my LTE to come live with y'all. So it should be pretty clear. The only thing that may get a little bit fuzzy here, here and there would is gonna be like the picture of me. We're just totally fine. That's totally fine. All right, so we're putting a good coat of that green 
on top of our birdhouse here. We're going to smooth this out to try to get all those paint ridges going away. So y'all, there's so many of y'all out there that's fighting like some awful weather. There's like snow and ice. Um, view is great, Miss Tammy. Yay! Thank you, Miss Cindy and Miss Donna. How are y'all ladies doing today? We y'all, it is like in the 50s here. Sun shining bright like a summer day. And wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so I don't know what that's about. But last night it's almost like we had a summer storm here. We had lightning, we had thunder. I was like, what in the world? So it was like in the low 40s. I'm at the high 40s. By the time the thunderstorm came through, I'm going to call it a thunderstorm. By the time that came through, we were up in like, it was like 56, about 12 o'clock last night here. This morning, taking the kids to school, it was 51 at 7.30 this morning. And I know you ladies that's out there that's got snow and all that ice, you're probably thinking, oh, just hush, Trina. We don't want to hear about that. But I think it's just super weird. Super, super weird. All right, I'm just coming and I'm putting another coat on here. Y'all let me know in the comments. Do you paint door hangers? Are you a watcher and you just like watching someone paint? Or are you a doer? You like watching it because you want to try it and you're going to paint it. Let me know. I want to know what kind of people I've got watching today. I want to know if I have the creators on here or just the ones that wonders how to do the things when it comes to painting door hangers. Because guess what, ladies? Guess what? I'm just smoothing this out, y'all. We've got nine more days. Nine more days and my inside scoop group will be open for new members. I'm super excited. I paint them and you and I love watching. Yay, Kayla. I love I paint them too, but I can sit there and watch other people paint all day long. I love watching other people paint. Um y'all know what I'm really starting to like? Watercolor. I love doing watercolor. Well I don't love doing it, but I love watching how the watercolor kind of um turns out because I think it's so cool I'm trying to smooth this out I'm kind of going over it too much while it's still wet y'all probably heard me say tons of times if you watch me let it dry because you're just going to start moving that paint around so that's kind of like what I'm doing here I'm kind of just moving my paint around I'm a beginner painter and love watching to get tips yay Miss Joanne I paint door hangers and I have paint parties. I have a small business is what Mr. Jim or Miss Cindy says. Awesome, Miss Cindy. Thank you. Is it Phoebe? Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to grab some white. Where is my other white? There it is. I got, so I'm going to have to get up and get my white. And we're going to lighten this color. We're going to put some lighter dark darts, lighter dots on this. We have... The snow and ice in Tennessee. I'm a watcher, but you are the only one I watch. Oh, Donna, you're so sweet. So y'all have snow and ice in Tennessee. So I, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to make me a lighter color green. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some dots. I've got a big old clunk of paint right there, y'all. We're going to put some lighter dots on this. I think the actual image has the darker dots, but we're going to put lighter dots on this one. Tammy says, I'm a painter and love to learn from you. You're awesome, Tammy. I love that you love learning from me. You are definitely a blessing to have in the inside scoop for sure. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. Um, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to put a, a dot right there. This is not dried yet, but I'm totally okay with that because I am going to let it do its own little blending, y'all. Um, just to take away from us having to try to add it a little bit more. So I'm going to let that wet paint just 
blend itself in. Um, let's see, we're going to put one like right here. And it kind of adds its own little stuff going on there. Alright, so I'm thinking one probably needs to be about right here. And I'm probably going to come back and do another coat on this, y'all. Um, and I want you to notice how I'm not like really stressing over not getting over like on my other spaces because it's, it's totally okay. It is totally okay. We're going to put one like peeking through right there. I always like to have like little half dots so it looks like it's, you know, realistic and it's kind of like going around or going over. Um, so let's give this a quick little dry. I hate to pull out the blow dryer, y'all, but I got to. And um, we, I don't know. We're probably going to do one more coat on those. Hey, Miss Kay, how are you? I love painting them and watching also because I always learn new tips and tricks from other designers. That is absolutely right, Shawna. 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 <laughs> I have been painting, so I did want to talk about me a little bit. And the reason I'm going to talk about me is because I have several new ladies, new friends on this page. And I don't know who's watching on YouTube. And I've got my new page, the Trina Kulitz Haven. So I really kind of want to introduce myself to all of my new ladies here. Um, I'm saying ladies, but friends, friends. Um, so my name is Trina. And I have been painting door hangers and selling them for eight years now. Oh, well, let's just say I've been painting them for eight years. But I have been, I was selling them for about seven years before I started my inside scoop group. Um, good Lord, I just like really went over on that one. But I have what got me started is my lovely sister-in-law um we seen some being posted on facebook and of course who doesn't need extra money and i was a stay-at-home mom and i was you know she's like trina we could totally do this and i was like uh well I've never, I didn't even know what a jigsaw was, y'all. I mean, I literally did not know what a jigsaw was. I've never used one before. So, of course, I was like, well, we can do it, you know, as long as you can do all the cutting. Because I did not trust myself with a jigsaw. And so that's how we got started. Because we was like, you know what? We can totally do it. We can make our own money. We can start our own little business. Um jumped all in like really y'all did not know nothing at all about what we were doing um i had a little business home-based business before with making little girls hair bows and so i did have a facebook page and where i sold my hair bows and stuff on facebook with that and i used to do what they called the comment sold game um, it's where I would post my bows and the first one to comment sold with their email. Of course, they got that. They won that bow or they didn't win. They had to pay for it, but they got they they claimed that bow. So I did have a little bit of experience when it came to when it comes to selling on Facebook, but. Doing little girls' bows and doing door hangers was two totally different things. And so I was, I was a little scared of trying something new because I knew my my hair bows. That's all, you know, that's the only thing I ever did was, you know, did my hair bows on Facebook. So I was really, really nervous. And, um, of course, you know, she talked me right into it. She made me believe in Believe in myself, maybe believe in her, maybe believe that, you know, we could totally do this. Hey, Miss Pauline, I love my jigsaw. I use it all the time. I love making holiday cutouts from my yard. My neighbors call me the holiday lady. You are 70 years old. Miss Pauline, you are a rock star. 
Hey, Miss Betty, it has been a long time. Um, Miss Terry says, love watching and learning new techniques. Love the tip you taught us painting the gnome's hat with the square. Yes, Miss Cindy, I'm so glad that you that you enjoyed that. And I see that I am blurry, but this is still clear. Yay. Uh, Miss Jessica, I have this design coming, so I am watching to get an idea of how to paint it. All right, Jessica, where did you get a design from? Are you in my template club? All right, so what I did is we decided that when we started, it was fall. So, of course, some of our four first door hangers that we started, y'all, was pumpkins. And it was... It was fun, but like I said, it was all still kind of scary because it was all new. Um, but we decided that, you know, we were going to definitely give it a try. And y'all, to my surprise, people loved, loved our pumpkins. We sold quite a few. And then, of course, after... Halloween's over. We don't be doing pumpkins no more. We had to start doing on Christmas. And y'all, this was before we even knew anything about templates. Like we were literally drawing these suckers out. I old schooled it, used a projector to project my designs on a wall and used shipping paper to trace the design out. And that's how we got our templates for goodness for five years. I know. And so, yeah, that's how old school we are <laughs> so um we started to you know to do our christmas and they christmas kind of took off y'all christmas took off and that made us really realize that you know what we could totally really make some money doing this if we you know maybe open up an etsy shop and i was very new to etsy I did not know anything about Etsy. Um, matter of fact, shipping, y'all. Shipping terrified me um, because I've never done it. So we were like all in and it was like, okay, we've got to figure out how we're going to, how we're going to, you know, get these items to our customers because we started going, selling to people that was not locals anymore. And so what we had to do, you know, we had to figure all that stuff out and we did, we totally figured it out and um, I opened up an Etsy shop. I figured out, you know, where to get boxes from, how to package these, you know, these things and it was going like really good. And then my, because if you've noticed, if you've ever bought anything from me, you might notice that it doesn't say Trinaculic Designs. It says, um, it says something else. Maybe Southern Designs by Tanium. And some of my pictures from like way back, I have like Trinaculic Designs. I mean, no, Southern Designs by Tanium. That's what it was. Um, so that's the reason for that. But she decided, you know, that, you know, I had two small kids at home. Zoe and Eli was really, really small. And, you know, my sister all decided that, you know, she would start doing it, you know, at her house. And, you know, we would just kind of like split the business in two different places. Um, but, of course, you know, she decided she was going to go and do something else. She got, a, you know, a different opportunity to come up. And um, I decided, you know, I was still going to stick with it. I was still going to do it and I was still going to do the door hangers and just figure it all out and make it work. Because I did not know how much fun it was to actually work with wood in a little old jigsaw. I'm going to give this a quick dry, y'all. Okay, so it has a, um, it's a, it's a little bit different, but it has a house and a bird. All right. So what we, what I've done is, you know, I continued the business. And it started to grow and grow. And I'll finish in a minute, y'all. Okay. 
ordered it from a company? Okay. And before I knew it, you know, I was like you know, rocking these the door hangers. Um, it got to the point to where I actually had to hire, especially during the holidays. I had to hire someone to come and help me. Um, there's a piece of hair. At first, you know, I was like, wasn't sure if I was going to be okay with hiring someone to help me. But it got to the point to where, you know, I didn't have no choice, which is always a good thing, right? Um, so I've sold like hundreds and hundreds of door hangers, you know, on Etsy. Etsy is an amazing platform, y'all, to sell on. It's like free marketing, really. So if you're a beginner and you want to sell, I highly suggest, you know, jumping on the Etsy wagon. Because Etsy is what really made Trinicule Designs make money. Um, that's what kept Trinicule Designs going and um, got it to where you know I am today. I no longer sell on Etsy, not because I don't like Etsy, but because I think I I wanted something a little bit different. I felt like. I could use my talent, you know, somewhere else and helping other ladies um, create and teach them all the things. Because back when we started, y'all, we we didn't have. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and I'll paint these. Oh, man, I stuck my brush in the, the water. We didn't have anybody to tell us, hey, you can go here and do this or you can go here and do that. We had to figure all that stuff out ourselves. There was nobody telling nobody nothing back then. It was like, you know how you got all the little makers on Facebook now doing the you know tutorials and giving you suggestions and tips and tricks and stuff. Y'all, that is amazing. The world has, I mean, I know a lot of people, the world's awful. Um, there's so much bad going on in this world, but we tend to forget that there's so there's still a lot of good because there's people now that you can go to and like just watching this video now i mean you did we didn't see stuff like this when we first started it was almost like it was a hush hush secret society with the door hanger world and trying to learn things i mean people just and i'm gonna go ahead and put white down here because this is yellow too y'all <coughs> People didn't want to help. People didn't want to share, you know, what they did because they were scared that, you know, you were going to take their business, which was kind of true. I mean, you learn. and But the thing is, y'all, is one thing you've got to realize when you're starting a business is doing it by yourself with nobody else helping you is very lonely. It is very lonely and it's very stressful. And it can sometimes get too overwhelming to where it's going to make you want to just stop because I was to that point to where there, especially during Christmas time, I was like, I, I wanted to give up because I just didn't feel like I could do it all. I let myself get too many orders um, because who wants to turn down, you know, money, an opportunity to get your your work into someone new's hands you know and there was there was times i cried because i would get behind and wouldn't get my orders out when i was supposed to get out but you know what i finally bit it hired someone during the holidays especially to come help me to get my work out and things turned out really good And my point with saying that is, you know, you don't have to do things by yourself. If you allow other people to help you, um, even if it's just, you know, being part of a, like with me, a business group, being part of a, a different community, even if it's a free community. If you have a free community that you can join, absolutely join that free community. Because it helps out more than I can say. When you have other ladies that that's in the same boat as you are, 
Because it is lonely when you're doing it by yourself. Hey, Miss Sherry. It's very lonely. But if you have, like I said, a free group, or if there's somebody on here and you have a business and you're just getting started, comment. Y'all use this as a place to connect with other ladies. Because it means a lot. It means a lot when you have someone that you can just message sometimes to ask, what the heck can I do? Now, I'm sorry, I'm blurry, y'all, but this is good. <laughs> I have learned so much by watching on Facebook and have sold several door hangers local. I appreciate all the painters that share their talents. Absolutely, Miss Sandy. And that's the thing. I mean, there's so much bad going on, but there's still so much good going on because y'all, they're like, like I said, when I started, there were, there was people that was like, mm -mm, you couldn't, and I'm not going to story. I was one of those people. I was like, hey, telling her, you know, she's wanting to sell the same thing I'm selling. And I kept all of it to myself. I was like, no. Well, then I realized that, you know what? I was hurting myself more than anything. Because I was missing out on an opportunity to, you know, create friendship. Friendships way on more than, to me, I feel like is way on more than just having someone to an extra customer. I mean, when you can spark some friendships up, I'm going to sit on my leg here. So I don't have to move it too much. And I think I can, I think I can reach it right out. But you can also, I'm not going to say partnership, but have accountability um, people to help you. And I have got to say that that means a lot, y'all. When you can, let's see, how far away do I have that? I'm going to go from here. Because believe it or not, having someone that holds you accountable to get your work done that means a lot that can help you grow more than you know and i'm going to bring this over because i have been in positions to where lord knows y'all if i had someone to hold me accountable i probably could have got a whole lot more done <laughs> um i made that one a little bit too wise so i'm gonna have to work in where my flowers and stuff's at there. And I'm also saying all this too, y'all, to let you know that when I opened the inside scoop, that was one of my intentions was to be able to help grow other ladies and letting them connect with other creators because it does mean so much when you can connect with some people, you know, with other creators that's doing and they're in the same boat that you're in. I mean, it mean, it makes a world of difference because it just helps you realize that you're not by yourself. You're not on the struggle bus by yourself because that's, that's what it feels like we're, you know, we're on sometimes is we're on a struggle bus and we have to like, realize that there's other people there that's going through the same thing and if we allow them to you know be there for us and help us out this ride will be so much more fun so don't try to be competitive with other creators y'all Like the whole thing, community over competition, y'all. That is so true. Community over competition. And I know it's hard sometimes because, you know, sometimes we feel like other people's moving along way faster than you are because I'm in that boat. There's so many other creators out there that's just, I mean, they are rocking it. But that I'm not jealous over them. Sometimes it gets me like, oh, you know, well, what am I doing wrong? 
but you you if you are if you can be proud and happy for your other makers out there do y'all know how it's going to make your confidence just boost up take that opportunity to learn from them don't go out there and i'm not saying go out there and copy them but learn from what they're doing sit back and watch them um and that's that's how you're going to learn how to move in your business all right so i'm going to quit talking about that when you help one another you both win exactly right miss frida you are exactly right actually my first door hanger that i sold was the free bunny template you shared with us you definitely helped me oh yay miss sandy see that just that warms my heart girl all right so let's see what's our next step let's go ahead and let's get these eggs y'all i think i'm gonna paint these eggs I'm going to do the sea breeze, which is the same color I'm going to use on the flowers on the top, but I'm going to make it lighter. We're going to lighten it up. So it'll be a little bit of a different color. Or, or I could do it dark. Then maybe I can't. Darn. I might can do some kind of speckles in the eggs with the lighter color. Now let's do the darker. We do the dark specks on it. And now we're going to make this lighter because I don't want it to be exactly the same color as my flowers on the top. All right. So let's find us a paintbrush here. And y'all, how about <coughs> I'm working on my third jar up here, y'all. I've been trying to do better, but it's uh, <laughs> I've got three jars of water up here with some paint paintbrushes in it. As long as they are good friendships. Yes. In the short time I have been in the crafty world, there are many who stab you in the back and are waiting to see you fail. It's sad, but very true. I just have to make sure that I don't get tangled up in that negativity. Miss Vicky, you are absolutely right. And I have had to unfollow certain other crafters. You know, I'm definitely not going to be calling their names or anything, but because they they had negative a lot of negativity vibes with them and um you do have to be careful but now i will honestly say that there has been some ladies other crafters that i have met along the way of you know having business in my business groups and stuff that i'm in that has they have real um should, i should be doing these last no i'm not no I shouldn't they have true desires like to help others and you are right there are there's there's ones out there that is down to stab you in the back i've had some you know that decided that they were going to be my friend and then you know they they want to be your friend just to kind of learn what you're doing and the whole thing that they missed is I totally, I totally would have shared with them. I would have tried to help them out as much as I could. And I don't know if they were just scared of asking, you know, like particularly for that help. Um, and they just, they've done some things that you know, I definitely wouldn't have done. But that's that's gonna happen i feel like that's gonna happen um and that's where you've got to decide to be the better person and just be like you know what i'm not gonna let that person get me down i'm gonna rock my business i'm gonna keep on trying um jealousy also is one of the biggest things y'all when it comes to this to the crafting world not just to door hangers but you know reef makers ever anybody any kind of handmade like business um jealousy will get you y'all more than anything and i have experienced that myself i felt myself being like jealous over other creators because of their success and i realized i can't you can't do that because you're you're really you're hurting yourself and when you're trying when you're being like jealous over someone else what it's doing is it's holding you back from being 
truly what you want to be. Um, what it does is it just kind of it gets you almost in depression to where you you're down in yourself because you're always comparing yourself to you know the other person and y'all you can't do that because if you do that then you're not going to get to where you're trying to go and i have i have so had to like be like you know what trina what are you doing you are just as good don't let their you know don't let that jealousy of their success bring you down because my thing is is and y'all may think i'm crazy um, especially for those you know, that don't believe in the same beliefs that I do, but I'm going to say it anyway. But the good Lord knows when you can handle certain things. And when he feels like you're ready for certain success, he's going to put it there. He's going to put it there and you just have to wait and allow him to work. You have to wait and allow him to do what he has planned for you because it's not going to happen no matter what you do it's not going to happen if it's not in his plans and i've had to tell myself that and i've had to make myself realize you know what trina just sit back and watch sit back and watch it happen so all right so we have our eggs here i did do a little bit of a little bit of shading there with the darker blue around it and I want to try to, I'm, I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to get this, my little fan brush here, y'all. And I'm going to go in that darker color, just kind of on my edge. I'm not going to put a lot of paint on here, but I can't splatter it because then I'll probably splatter it on my green. But I'm going to try to like just dab. Some of that darker color in there. To make it almost look like little specks. I mean, why not? And you could also use like um, a brown if you want to use a brown. But we're going to go with that. That turns out pretty good. God's timing is always the best. That's right, Miss Cindy. Have you ever heard that song? Um, He's always on time. The, or is it four days late? I think it might be called four days late. I love that song. I could listen to that song all the time. And y'all, I'm not, you know, I believe in the Lord and stuff like that. And I go to church and don't go to church nearly as much as I should go to church. But I am a firm believer of the, the Lord. He has power over us that we don't even know that he has. We don't realize and if we just let him do, let him do his thing, y'all, things will be so much easier for ourselves. So when, like with my membership, with my inside scoop, y'all, I sit back and I'm like, you know, God, you know, I'm really trying my best to get this, this membership to grow. And it's like, it's just sitting there. It's not doing nothing. Um, but there has been so many things, y'all, that I've had to, that I have learned over the past year. And so my thing is, you know what? Maybe he knew that there were still things that I had to learn before he allows me to, you know, grow this membership and, you know, like get, you know, a certain amount of members. There's there are still things that I've got to learn. And he knows that. You've just got to, you know, do what you feel like you need to do. And, you know, of course, you know, he will provide. He will send me those ladies that my ladies, my people, you know, because y'all, honestly, sometimes I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Sometimes people can't even understand the way I talk. I mean, sadly, but, you know, I have that Southern slang. And sometimes I'll be watching my lives just, you know, to see um, how it the view was and all that. And I'm thinking, 
what did I say? I, I couldn't even understand some of the words that I say. So, I mean, sometimes I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And that's fine. That's okay. And that's one thing, too, is y'all got to realize that. Good Lord, y'all splatter. Um, yellow paint up here. I'm all black. You got to realize that you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You got to realize that some people is not going to be there to join your membership or they're not going to be there to buy your door hangers and stuff. They're just there to, you know, grab one little nugget from you and run along. And that's fine. Those people that's truly your people, they're going to stay. They're going to support you. They're going to be itching and waiting for you to post your next new design. And once you post it, they're going to be the first ones to click it and buy it. And you just got to find your people. All right, y'all. This turned out cute. Once we get those flowers out there, that's going to be like, going to make it all pop. Thank you, Miss Sandy. I love all the shady tips you teach us. It is a beautiful song. Absolutely beautiful. I love that song. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some whites, and we're going to put some lighter shades of yellow stripes on this bottom piece here. So we're just going to use that same yellow, which was the primary yellow y'all by deco art and we're going to just come and we're going to put some stripes right here just like that but you know there's a lot of things that we can do to hurt our own self self sabotage 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 <laughs> um and we don't realize that we're doing it. Like, for instance, with me, I am so, like, unorganized. Teal, it's not even funny, y'all. It's not even funny. And I'm hurting myself by not being organized and putting in that extra work to get organized so I can serve my people better and I was I've been hurting myself all of these years by not not just taking the time and doing the work and being more organized like for instance on here you know y'all never know when I was going to pop up live being consistent and having a goal and knowing what you need to get done from day to day when it comes to your business is going to take your business so much further than you ever think all right let's go ahead and let's put some colors onto our flowers up here just because i need that color i want that color to go on all right so we should have started with that yellow so where did i put that yellow what brush did i have y'all i literally just put it in there there we go you have to have a plan and that is y'all that is something that i have been terrible with doing is having a plan but I have made it a goal. And I went over this with my, my insiders, my ladies that's in my group, that when you actually know where you want your business to go and you know the things you have to get done from day to day to get your business to where it needs to be and make those lists, you're going to find yourself doing so much more for your business than you ever thought was possible because you're getting things done and you're not going around in a circle from day to day because that's what I found myself doing was going around and around in a circle always knowing what I had to get done but never implementing it because I did not have a plan did not have a plan, didn't know what to do from day to day. And commitment, that's another thing, commitment, y'all. I have got, I've realized I've got to learn, I've got to commit to certain days. I've got to commit to certain obligations 
when it comes to this business. And if I want it to grow, daggone it, I've got to stick with it. And it's so hard. It is hard, y'all. But the past two weeks that I have really been like going full force and sticking with a list and knowing what I've got to do, actually having a plan, I have got more done, I think, in the past two weeks than I have in the past six months, probably. <laughs> I'm probably exaggerating a little bit on that, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference with being successful in your own business and being self. What is it called? Self what, y'all? Mm, I can't think of the word. Christine, you are getting so much better with organizing. Uh, yes, girl. <laughs> I'm trying my best. How much is the wood? I love this piece. Miss Judy, I weigh so much more. Wait, I weigh so much time. I did too, Miss Judy. I did too. Waste of time is a big factor when it comes to having your own business. You don't have time to waste. Um, the wood, this is, um, I don't sell just the blanks, but um, I buy the two, I mean, the four by eight sheets of triply, and that's like $15 for a sheet. All right, let's see. Where was I going? All right, so my blue flowers is behind my big pink flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my blue flowers. And I'm going to do this sea breeze, y'all, because I love the sea breeze color. It's so stinking pretty. There you go, Miss Sandra. Discipline. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to have self-discipline when you're trying to run your own business. Because if you don't, then your business is going to sit there and it's not going to have any kind of movement at all. Um, because I could sit there all day long and say, oh, I want to go live. I want to go live. I got to go live. But if I never actually get my butt on here and go live, y'all, I'm not doing any good for my business. It's not helping my business at all. So I'm going to say this out loud. Because have you ever heard that if you say it out loud and you tell other people you're going to hold your, it'll make you hold yourself more accountable? My day to go live in this on this page is going to be Tuesdays. I'm going to stick with Tuesdays right now. That's the one I'm for sure going to go live every day, I mean, every week with or on. And I'm going to try for one more day, but I've got to get my schedule like really going. I mean, we have two small kids that plays travel ball and, you know, I've got to make sure of their ball practice schedules and stuff. But I would like to have at least one more day so I can go live two days a week on this page with you ladies. Um, but Tuesday for sure. So mark it down. Um, and y'all hold me accountable. If y'all don't see me popping on live, message me. Say, girl, where you at? Because I'm telling you, when you have someone in your business or in your life to hold you accountable in your business, y'all, that would do wonders as well. So if you don't have an accountability person, find you an accountability person. That's going to say, that's not just going to be like, oh, it's okay, girl. You know, you don't need to go live today if you don't have time. You want an accountability person that's going to say, girl, you know you're supposed to stick with this. You're not doing very you know, good at your plan. If you miss this Saturday or this Saturday, if you miss this Tuesday, you're probably going to go ahead and miss next Tuesday, too, because you're going to get yourself right back in the groove of not going live. So you when you find an accountability person, make sure it's somebody that's going to kick you in the booty when you need it. I don't want somebody to sugarcoat something when I say, OK, hold me accountable for this. I want them to hold me accountable. Don't sugarcoat none. Make me do my stuff, y'all. And I know it's probably like, you know, well, I don't want to be made to do it. We shouldn't have to be made to do it. But sometimes we all need that extra push. Um, because we all do things differently. And I am one of those that needs that push because I can find myself doing so many other things. Hey, Miss Brandy, you finally caught me live. Well, yay, I'm so glad you're here. Um, what size wood pieces do you use thickness wise? This is a quarter inch. Well, that's what it's labeled as, but I don't think it's a true quarter inch. Um, 
and I don't even have my tape measure. This is, I know, like a 24 by something. It might be a little bit longer than a 24 inch, but it's not a small piece at all. Um, so I'm not sure. They, like I said, it's labeled as a quarter inch. All right, so we're going to go in with our pink. I'm going to use this fruit punch, y'all, because I think this is a very pretty color. So fruit punch by Apple Barrel, and this is a gloss. And it's super duper pretty, y'all. It's a bright pink color. Miss Pamela, me too. Me too. This is such a pretty blue. And I don't mean to be on here and start preaching, y'all. <laughs> that is not my intentions at all. I guess I just felt like it was a time to kind of try to encourage some of you other ladies and you know out there that and let you know that though like with me you know i come live and i've got a, you know a business i've got not nearly as many people you know that a lot of these other you know ladies have that's you know rocking it you know i've got like 30 something thousand followers on here um but it is it's not easy i you know I can honestly say for myself, it's not easy. It's still a struggle. It's still something we have, you know, I have to work at daily and working on motivation. Get myself motivated. So don't think that you're alone. Don't think that everybody else don't have those same struggles and concerns and worries that you do. You're you're definitely not alone. Is the volume and stuff still good on y'all's end? Y'all be sure to sprinkle this video for me. So I just hope that I've helped. I said something. I don't, you know, just something. Some little nugget or advice or a statement or something that kind of hit you and made you realize that that you're not by yourself and you can totally do whatever it is that you want to do because it's not easy it may not be easy for you but i promise you you're not alone it hadn't been easy for me there's been so many things that i've struggled with so don't ever think that you're the only one that's on that struggle bus. Don't let that allow yourself to give up. Thank you, Miss Stacy. Pizza, I hope it will look as. Oh, thank you so much. I have a YouTube viewer on here. Pizza says, I hope it will look as, as you want it to be when it finishes. Well, thank you. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's put some green on our leaves here. So I want this green to be bright, y'all. Bright, bright. I will definitely have to see how this YouTube thing works because this is my first time ever going live on YouTube. And I know YouTube's kind of like a fast-paced kind of platform. So I'm hoping I don't get any kind of negativity because I run my mouth so much. Oh, one good thing, y'all, there's so many daggone clumps in that thing, is you can always, like, when you're watching videos live and you have a chatterbox like me, you can always, like, come back and watch the replay and do that, um, do the, like, the little fast forward kind of thing. Because sometimes I do talk too much, and I apologize, but I sometimes I need conversation, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to put this lime tree green on our leaves here. I 
and I'm going to smooth that out. Just keep, thank you so much. That has made my day. You have made my day. All right. So with this green, y'all, it is kind of transparent, and I'm probably going to have to go over it one more time. And then I'm going to add some little wiggly lines in here because we're going to keep this very whimsy. Um, I'm trying not to do hardly any kind of shading and blending because I do feel like, you know, sometimes people get a little bit intimidated with all the shading and blending, although it's very fun once you actually learn it and you you realize that it's not as hard as you thought it was because there's a, you know, certain techniques that you can do when it comes to shading and blending that makes it so easy. But it is very intimidating if you've never did it. Um, so I'm going to try just to do, and a lot of times your whimsy door hangers, they're not going to have all of that shading and blending. They're going to be more just, you know, simple, fun, kind of cartoony. Um, you know, cart a cartoony look to it. So I'm going to try. I did do the shading and stuff, a little bit of shading on the little eggs down there, but not much at all. But that's what's going to give you the whole whimsy feel of this door hanger is there's not going to be a whole lot of shading going on. There's just going to be the fun, bright colors. And that's basically it. The fun, bright colors in the designs. All right. So we got our leaves there, y'all. We're going <laughs> to, we're going <clears> to, <throat> sorry, we're going to give this a quick little dry. No, Miss Stacy, I do not. I actually cut my own door hangers. I cut them all myself with a jigsaw. I wish I could find someone local that um, had a laser and that could do it for me because that would be that would save so much time. But I'm actually one. I really love cutting with a jigsaw. I think the whole cutting process gives you a sense of empowerment. And it makes you feel like, I don't know, it just gives you that a certain feeling that you can't get, you know, if you just order it from somewhere else. And I know that there's a lot of ladies, you know, that they're not able to cut. Um, and, you know, they have to order theirs. And I wish I could provide that you know, provide that service to y'all. But um, right now, it's just I don't have time to do it because I do hand cut them all with a jigsaw. Um, I'm hoping soon there's going to be one of my ladies that gets a laser cutter and she's going to start. Um, me and her is going to partner up. This is me and her talking. <laughs> me and her is going to par partner up and um, she will be able to cut all of the designs that I have like for my insiders and I would hope you know maybe she would take on even you know all of the designs from off my website as well so we have to see how that you know what we come up with and if she gets a laser or not so I'm just putting another coat on here Trying, I'm getting way too much paint on my paintbrush. I'm trying to smooth those paint ridges out. And this is a very small paintbrush, y'all. All right. You're on YouTube since two years, right? And let's play with the algorithm and get your channel growing. I'm not much into art, but I like how you speak, sister. So I'm so. Oh, Miss Pete, so well, thank you. Or, Mister? 
I would absolutely yeah let's play with the algorithm you just tell me what to do because I'm new to YouTube I've been on YouTube but this is my first time going live all right so while that's drying y'all we're gonna come down here and we're gonna work with the bird and the nest so let's go ahead and let's get the nest going on so I'm gonna use dun, 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 this truffle maybe yeah I'm absolutely new to YouTube uh-oh. Y'all, my phone just went dead. My phone just went dead. And I can't unplug it. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, my phone just went dead. So let's see if we can do this a different way. Let me see. Maybe, yeah, see, my phone completely went dead. It is turning back on, though, so. And I can't connect it again because it's going to echo. So, let me see if I can get my camera. Y'all just give me a minute. Let's see if I can get this camera. I wonder if I can get this to hold in my tripod up here. Let me see. Y'all, give me a minute. Um, I'm trying, y'all. Let's see. We're just going to have one view here. You're not going to be able to see me. If I can get this stinking thing to hold. I feel like that's going to fall on my phone. Let's Y'all give me a second. Thank you, Miss Donna. Um, let's see. Let's do it this way. That's not going to hold either. All right, y'all. I'm trying. I may have to do this live later. may have to finish it tonight. Darn it. That's not going to hold it there. Okay. Yep. So, y'all, my phone died on me. I do apologize. So, um, because I didn't realize that I wasn't going to, I didn't realize that I was going to have to have my earbuds plugged in to be able to do it because I didn't have that last time. I guess it's working this way. Yep. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to stop right here in my tracks because I don't want y'all to miss anything else to, that's going to be done. Because even if I did use just my, my camera, y'all know I live in the boonies and the Facebook, um, don't pick up good here because the Wi-Fi kind of sucks. So we're going to stop here and this afternoon, or maybe after I get the kiddos from school, I will come back and we will finish this because I'm not going to leave you hanging like that. I'm going to finish this with you. Um, and in the meantime, I will be letting my phone charge. And um, yeah. So sorry, ladies. I appreciate y'all being here and I will give y'all at least a 15 minute heads up before I come live to finish it later on today. So I'm going to go for maybe, let's say, around 3.30 or 4 o'clock, but I will post a more certain time. I'm, well, hey, Miss Grace. Well, girl, I'm having to hop off because my phone died. <laughs> so, y'all, I thank you so much, and um, I do apologize. I'm super sorry. And I will see y'all again probably around 3.30, 4 o'clock, so y'all just stay, um, have, stay on the lookout for an exact time. So you'll be back, Miss Brandy. Yay. All right. Thanks, ladies.